Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks and to another Open With Me. And um, I haven't done, feels like I haven't done one of these for a long time. But um, I be began to believe that my subscriptions had run out. And I went out the other day and I bought this very magazine and now I have two. I'm going to try and take it back to the shop because I've not opened it. So let's move this out the way. And we have a free calendar with this, Flower Fairies. Ooh. So we have, I guess, the patterns to make the Flower Fairies within this as well. So this is the new, oh, it's not upside down. The new Simply Crochet. And uh, we've got some, what looks like quite nice patterns really. Um, hook and Echidna. Oh, wow, look, this is what they think an Echidna looks like. How cute is that? The only thing I know about echidnas is that knuckles is one. That's all I know. We've got a kind of a granny stitch, chevrony cardigan, nice and chunky. Winter warmers, we've got this wrap over kind of shrug, would you call it? Uh, shawl, scarf. We've got make some crowns and uh, what is this? Art and craft books, we'll put that to one side because I don't think it's anything. We'll put the uh, free gift to one side for now and come back to it later. Also in here, we've got party shawl, cosy socks, easy baby blanket and more. Um, revealed the best yarns on a budget. Patterns ideals, yarn, inspiration and techniques. We've got a jumper and a, a very odd looking hat that's quite cool. Um, I don't know what that is. I reckon it's a blanket, but we'll have a look as we get into it. So there's a little bit about the um, the free gift and the content section. So what's that? Is that just embellishment for a jumper? I think it might be. Um, we've got a bobbles and stripes blanket. We've got a very lacy wrap, shawl. Show, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I never know what to call them. We've got a shopping bag with a heart on it. Oh, and Tom Daly. Well, there's a surprise. And we've got bits and bobs of it on the front cover. And we've got cushions and some nice socks. Okay, so these are just adverts. Expect to see a ton of them adverts in this one. So this is Hooked. I'll be home for Christmas and some cute little bits and bobs. I don't know if they're in the magazine. We'll find out. Okay, what books do we have this time? Not Bad Amigurumi, as in K-N-O-T, not, not bad. That's eighteen ninety nine by Quarto. And what do you get? 25 super cute characters to hook. So 25... Is that good value? What do you think? Super Size Crochet Animals, 1899 by Stackpole Books. And I can't see how many you get. Oh, 16. So you get 16, a bit less. But they're super size, so is that a thing? Crochet Tank Tops by Sandy Rosner at 8 99 Now that's a lot cheaper. How many tank tops and stuff? Uh, long sleeve t-shirts oh perfect for mar marrying with them let's say how many does it and i can't see that very small writing so i don't know and um, we've got simple origami 12.99 by search press okay so adverts as well 20 million of those going to be in this magazine because it's the christmasy one i guess Okay, so we've got uh, little bits of editorials and craft shops and five fab finds. Scandinavian gnomes um, and a Scandinavian gnome tree. He's quite cute. And um, it tells you where to find them. The pattern costs three eighty seven from Gnomefield Etsy shop Muffycorn. Okay. Radio, let's move on, see what's actually in the magazine. We've got these stars and I guess these are little placemat placeholders, aren't they? 
Happy Scrapmas. So scrap yarn projects. We've got stars to hang and we've got little little guys, but you'd need sort of to find something this little hook thing that you can put your name tag on. Now these crowns look quite quite cool. I don't know how they must get starch or something, stop this curling. I would have thought. Things to do for your wrapping. I used to jazz up my wrapping a long time ago. Now it's lucky if I can just not cover it in sellotape, to be honest. I used to be so good at it, but those were the days. So these are all bits and bobs you can make to jazz up your Christmas presents. And we've got some crackers. Obviously, they're not pullable. <laughs> You'd be there forever tugging away, wouldn't you? They're just um, attractive to look at. So this is telling you how to upcycle all your bits and bobs there. So, And this is the little Scandi gnome place setting thingamy. Um, Billabag. What's that? Billabag. Staffordshire-based, family-owned local cotton cord manufacturer. Billybag. Okay. Not, I might have to check that one out. Well, I quite like this. I like this cardigan, although I'm not keen on baggy sleeves. It's a chunky one. So it's more of a jacket, and I don't mind that. That's quite... There's something about it caught my eye. I'm not absolutely enamoured with this bit. I don't like... That. I think I'd have to go as round as a square. I think that's a little clumsy, but it's called Warm Wishes. Diamond patterns are a girl's best friend in this cosy open cardi designed by Fran Morgan. It's pretty to look at though, and it does size small to XL. And we've got adverts. Down under darling. Meet Irene Strange's studio of oh, studious, sorry, Echidna also known as a spiny anteater, here on a visit from sunny Australia. So there you go. That's the little echidna. He's studious because he's on books. Okay, quite detailed doodles of how to meet him. Make him, not meet him. Okay, get a Rico calendar yarn pack. So if you want to make the flower fairies, um, here is a pack of yarn worth £116. Um, it's all Rikarumi when you subscribe. So that's well, well, I'll say well worth it. It seems quite, quite a good little incentive. So there's all the details if you wanted to do it. I'm getting a parcel. I just need to pause it for a second. Back. It's that time of year, isn't it? Where everything arrives in the mail that's little stock in fillers and bits and bobs. So get your Rico Canada yarn pack worth £116. Make all the characters from our Flower Fairies calendar. Save 20% on the magazine shop price of £74.99. So you four thirteen issues. Oh, only £74. It's usually £93.87. Fab crochet gift and free delivery direct to your door. And hurry, one month only offer, so don't miss out. So basically, you've got a month to sign up or you don't get it. But there'll be another offer if you don't get that one. Catherine's journal, so we won't read that, it's a bit long. Okay, and join the band. So this is the, the band, I guess. And uh, how to jazz up plain garments and stuff. How to make a back stitch, Christmas kisses. So if you can't get hold of, or you don't want to get any real mistletoe, you can make some and some hearts and hang it on what looks like rope. I'm not really into these rustic kind of decorations. I quite like this, but I'm not really into the rustic things. I think I'd have to make the hearts red, possibly put some holly with it and then put it on some proper Christmassy looking stuff. Okay, does it say who designed it? Did I not read that bit, did I? Nope. Oh well. Fill the festive season with joy with this cheerful Christmas tree jumper by Anna Dyakova. Doesn't look much like a Christmas tree, does it? But, you know, it's triangular. 
I like the neck though and this and the cuff that's quite sweet so in the next your crochet Christmas this is I think I might have this magazine I don't think I did an open with me on it though I think I'll have to remedy that and this is the bag that's on the front cover so it's it's good for a little shopping bag where you're going to put your veggies in or something but you've got to be careful that things don't just poke through the holes I guess I just realised my tap's dripping. I hope it's not driving you all insane. Um, positively creative. You not probably didn't hear it before and you know you're going to. Make Christmas your own with Gathered. And this is the Baby Bumps. I don't know what Gathered is. www.gathered.how Little costume, I guess. It's the home of the knitter. Simply knitting and simply crochet. Anywho... That probably that subscription thing. This is the Bobbly Baby Blanket called Baby Bumps and filled with texture and colours. I like the orange actually. Don't often get orange. So we've got some bold cushions, one by Sarah Haywood, one by Lisa Hendry. So we've got geometric kind of shapes and how to do. And these are secured with buttons. I never do that. I just sew mine shut and then I make sure I can find the yarn that I've sewn it with and undo it and wash it and then sew it back up again. <clears throat> if you make the yarn slightly different colour, you can always find it. You can't see it unless you really look for it, but it helps, you know, it does help. Okay, so this is the Winter's Eve. You'll look graceful all night long in Fran Morgan's lovely lacy shawl. Light and airy design. In other words, not very warm, but fancy. So we've got another little editorial bit. Arts and crafts. So this is very um, moody, very moody colours, oranges and, well, I won't say mustard, but like a bisque colour, isn't it? Posh, a bisque, it's a bisque colour. Not a base, a bisque <laughs> and rust. Unusual. There we go. That's what it looks like. So they are quite loopy flowers. Uh, do you like that one? And we've got the socks. Ginger snaps, they're called. And these go size small, medium and large. So I suppose they're, they are socks. You could always get that rubbery stuff if you want to put on the soles and we've got that square hat elf sort of square very chunky and we've got a bit of an editorial about yarns and yarn dyeing pretty in patchwork so this is a that wrap over what do they call it um this charming shawl they called it a shawl Okay, by Hannah Cross makes the most of beautiful shades in this colour changing yarn. And there's all the art step by step guide. Budget yarns, here we go. Okay, so budget yarns, they've got sheepish scrumptious, which is very hard to get over here, really. Um, it's not readily available, I know, because I've got a little bit of sheepish in my shop, which is www.hobbyrocks.co.uk if you didn't know. There's a voucher code. You can find it in the description box and a link to the shop. Anywho, um, yeah, as a, a supplier um, trying to find wholesalers, it's not that easy to find anyone that does sheepies. So I have got some and they're beautiful yarns, the ones I've got, but I don't exactly get lots. And that is 2 95 for 100 grams. So that's not too bad. Wavy Days Knit Craft, which is like Hobby Craft Zone. And that's 50 gram ball is a fiver. I don't find that budget, I'm sorry. You know, for a 50 gram ball at five pounds, that's not exactly budget in my opinion. And that's this one here. Yarn Smith's Create DK, 179 for 100 grams. So that is budget. Not, I can't tell you what it's like. Now, the King Cole Big Value, 259 for 100 gram. That's okay. Okay value. Oh, the Colour Twist. Again, not budget. I suppose, you know, when you're looking at the price of Rowan, yeah, they're all budget. 
But, you know, they're a 100 gram ball and they're 429 plus. Depends where you get it from. Can't remember what mine is, but it's on special offer. Kid is super soft, chunky. £2.15, 100 gram. And that's a signet. So, some budget, some not. Really? Show us yours. Sound always sounds rude, but they're just readers makes and little editorials. Crochet unveiled. How do I use vintage patterns? Well, I don't think they're any different to new patterns. Patterns have always been written in double dutch. You know, they've always been written in those odd kind of symbols and ways of writing them that are kind of like hieroglyphics. No, but you know what I mean. They've got these brackets that you follow and all those things. And I don't think they're any different now. Well, maybe they are. I don't know. How do I follow the pattern? So that's a little bit about that. In the next issue, we've got this very snazzy jumper with mm, not baggy sleeves, but mm, I might like that. Berda makes for you and your home. We've got... Super chic unisex collection. Bright diamonds sweater, which is this one here. Cute amigurumi orca. That's not an orca, is it? That must be something else. Cozy hat and mitt. Easy stripe blanket. Sweet baby jumper. Ombre scarf, socks and more. Well, I can't say that. That's not, can't be the orca. I wonder I don't identify stuff, if that's what that is. And we've got all the how-to-do bits, the essentials pages. And we've got the charts, although it's not really much of a chart, is it? Um, just cut it out. Christmas Crochet Book 5 by Zoe Alstead. Hmm, not seen that around. I have to look out for that. So that's the magazine. And... Now let's have a little look at the free calendar. Flower fairies. Okay, so these are all the flower fairies. And here we go. Have I turned two pages? No, it's a very thick card. So they're quite cool, aren't they? I don't think they're the ones you're gonna make. A bit too involved, but created from the original flower fairy illustrations, and that's them. Okay, so this is, um. Okay, so that's that. And then on the next page, do you have... I think we are going to do the calendar and then we're going to do all the instructions afterwards. So this is um, the Holly Fairy. So that's kind of cute, isn't it, in January? And then in February, my birthday, we've got the Blackthorn Fairy. Kind of cute. March, we have the Daffodil Fairy. Well, as it's St. David's Day and the patron saint of um, Wales and there is, is a daffodil, it's quite apt. The Speedwell Fairy for April. And May we have the May Fairy. Uh, well, that's kind of apt, I suppose. I do like her legs, they're so shapely. Kind of cool, aren't they? The Strawberry Fairy for June, as it is time for strawberries by then. Um, forget me not fairy in July. That's nice. All blue. The foxglove fairy. That's more like a pixie. I think the wing on that right hand side looks a bit dodgy, but that's August. September is the blackberry fairy. I like that tunic. Does look like a blackberry. Whoa, <laughs> that was scary. The acorn fairy is October. There she is. That was just a book slip down. My next one. And the slow fairy in November. And there was a time when I'd have liked slow gin. But I don't drink anymore since my cancer. And the December one is the Christmas tree fairy. And that would be cool to make for the top of the Christmas tree, wouldn't it? Okay, so I guess then from that moment on, you've got all of the... Um, kind of pages on how to make them. Isn't that cool? I like that. 
because we all need a calendar now and then, don't we? And that is not only a freebie calendar, but you get to make them if you want. So this, um, the world's finest art and craft books, 10% off all books. So that's what this is. Um, a catalogue of art and craft books. So not just crochet, obviously, and knitting, but any craft that you imagine. So it's basically a catalogue and you get 20% off. I probably won't. I can buy books um, anyway wholesale. So tell me, what do you think of Simply Crochet's um, magazine and free gift this time around? Not bad at all, I don't think. Um, got some nice bits in it and a freebie calendar. Oh, I did have one from a knitting um, on, in my last... Uh, I can't remember, was it knit now? I don't remember. But I did get a knitted one and now I've got a crochet. But I have to say the flower fairies are pretty cute. So if I can't take my other edition that I purchased back, I might find, you might find that I put this up for sale. Not this one, the one that's unopened um, that I bought. I might put it in my shop, but we'll see. I'll probably try and take it back to the shop and uh, get my money back. But if not, you never know. Under the books and magazines bit, you might find it. Anyway, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this. What do you think of their, their free gift offer if you subscribe? Do you think that's good? It does tie in with the 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 um flower fairies calendar, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.